Hello, are you someone who has or has a family member unclaimed shares and undividends lying in an IPF account? In this video, you will get the complete guidelines to back those shares from Investor Education and Protection Fund, Authority or IEPF. At Interslice, you can find solution to bring back those shares. Watch this video until end to understand how to get these long time unclaimed, forgotten or lost shares back into your account. I am Komal Singh, legal researcher at Enterslice. Today, I will explain to you the guidelines for the recovery of shares from IEPF. Firstly, we have to understand what IEPF is. The central government has set up the Investor Education and Protection Fund Authority or IEPF under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs to protect investor trust and promote awareness among the common man about the shares which were unclaimed for a long time, forgotten or lost due to any reasons back into an investor or its legal hire account. Today, we will talk about what is transferred to IEPF, important amendments in IEPF rules, why are my investment transferred to IEPF, common issues that restrict the recovery of shares from IEPF, what documents required for the recovery of shares, how can you get to know whether there is any unclaimed investment in your name or not? So, let's start with what is transferred to IEPF. All the shares of the company which are unclaimed or unencashed for 7 years or more are required to be transferred by the company to the IEPF set up by the Government of India under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. Some important amendments in IEPF rules. The Ministry of Corporate Affairs has notified certain amendments in IEPF rules. Shares held in demand account will not be transferred or dealt with any manner except for the purposes of transferring the share back to the claimant as in when he approaches the authority or following the sub-rules. If receipt of an application for purchase through the company, the authority may receive the amount entitled on behalf of the minority shareholders from the company as per the procedure of IEPF Section 236. A separate ledger account shall be maintained for crediting the amount. The authority is responsible for verifying compliance of the conditions provided under the relevant section of the Act and rules framed and also call a report from company upon fulfilling requirements. The company shall be liable to indemnify the authority in case of any dispute or lawsuit that may be initiated. The authority shall not be liable to indemnify the minority, shareholder, the company or any other person for any liability arising leading to any litigant or complaint. Any amount required to be credited by the companies to the fund shall be remitted into the specified account of the IEPF authority maintained in Punjab National Bank. The details thereof shall be furnished to the authority in form number IEPF 7 within 30 days from the date of remittance, a common issue that hampers the recovery of shares. First, damage of misplacement of certificate. Second, damage or misplacement of submitted documents. Third, mismatch signature of the transfer. Now, what documents are required for the recovery of shares? Details of the claimant along with the Aadhaar card or OCI or PIO number, CIA number and other relevant details of the company from which the amount is due, DMAT account number, details of bank account where the unclaimed amount will be transferred, details of the share to be claimed, details of the dividend to be claimed. Now, what essential documents are to be attached with the form? Original indemnity bond with the claimant signature or a non-judicial stamp paper according to the Stamp Act. Original advance stamp receipt signature of the claimant and witnesses. Original share certificates if the share are in physical form or copy of transactions statement if the securities are in DMAT form. Aadhaar card, proof of entitlement, overseas citizen of India, passport or PIO card in case of NRI and foreigners, copy of DMAT account client master list, cancel check. After knowing about the IPF, the common question arises in your mind, why are my investment transferred to IEPF? There could be several reasons why this could happen. Some of them are loss of original investment documents, 
change in bank account details change of address death of the original holder etc now how can you know if there is any unclaimed investment in your name being ignorant of investment made long ago by you under the name of their llc or deceased family member is the main issue and slice has addressed this issue through their team of experts that assist investors and allow them who are looking for unclaimed investments feel free to reach us on the number shown below or visit our website to get your unclaimed or unencashed cash we have discussed complete guidelines for recovery of shares in detail and now after watching this video if you find that you and your known are facing the issue of getting your amount back or if you have any additional question reach us at provided details our team of expert will help you to get the unclaimed or unencashed amount thank you for watching i am komal singh signing off